In this video, we're going to be looking at lines of symmetry. So a line of symmetry is a line that I can draw on one of these shapes, so that it doesn't just cut the shape in half. It's got to do that, okay? It's got to cut the shape in half, but it's also got to be that the one side that I cut, okay? So I've got, if I've got now two sides, those two sides must be able to press together as if I'm going to be able to fold them together and make exactly the same shape, so they're going to completely overlap. Now, because I'm saying that that doesn't necessarily mean that one line that crosses through and cuts the shape in half will cut it, figuratively speaking, um, for example, I could look at this rectangle and cut it down the middle this way, diagonally, but this will not be a line of symmetry, because if you can imagine folding these two sides together, what's going to happen if I fold that side down to here, I'm actually going to get this point down here. So I'm actually going to get something like that when I fold it over. So they're not going to match up and marry up that we want. So that would not be a line of symmetry. So let's look at these other shapes. So the circle, to start off with, um, has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. You can cut it through its center at any two points, like so, or here. Okay, As long as the line goes through the center, you are going to cut it in half, and that line is going to be a line of symmetry. And so the circle has an infinite number of lines of symmetries. So I could use the infinity symbol there. The triangle, okay, if this is a regular triangle, an equilateral triangle, then you would be able to cut the shape lengthways, like so. Or you could cut it through that corner, going through the center of that side. Or, in a similar way, through there, go through the centre, cutting, cutting this side in the centre as well. So actually, that has three lines of symmetry. The square, well, you can cut it down through the middle, that'd be one. You could cut it through the middle, like so. Or you could cut it through... Uh, the diagonal, unlike the rectangle, or you could cut it through the other diagonal. So actually, this one has four lines of symmetry. Let's look at the star. The star, you could cut it down the middle, then you could cut it through that way, or you could cut it through that point there, or you could cut it through that point there, or through that point there. So actually, counting up those lines, we have one, two, three, four, five. So five corners, five points, five lines of symmetry. The moon, you can, I'm afraid you'd just be able to cut it through, through the middle, okay? Like that, just one. The rectangle, well, we saw that the diagonal wouldn't work, but you can cut it down the middle and then cut it lengthways. So that would have two lines of symmetry. The pentagon would be one. Two, uh, three, four, five. Okay, so five for the pentagon. So you would also guess then five sides for the pentagon. So we have three lines of symmetry for the triangle, four sides for the square, four lines of symmetry for the square, five lines of symmetry for the pentagon. So there's going to be six lines of symmetry for the hexagon. There's going to be eight lines of symmetry for the octagon. 
okay? The diamond or a rhombus, okay? Um, well, for the rhombus, you're going to have one line of symmetry going down that road, that way, and one line of symmetry going that way. Okay? So, that works out for the rhombus. I mean, the rhombus that's been drawn here, you could also cut it through those two ways, I guess, uh, if it's just a square on its side. But, that's not necessarily true uh, for the rhombus, okay, these not necessarily all 90 degree angles. The cross, down the middle, through the middle, then we could have had uh, like a diagonal, and diagonal that way as well. And finally, uh, it says in trapezoid there, uh, trapezium, if, it's, um, if it has a line of symmetry, it might be possible to have a line of symmetry down the middle, okay, like so. But depending on how the trapezium is drawn, if it's a regular trapezium like that, then yes, you will be able to do that. So that's how you do lines of symmetry. And make sure you point your making the link between the number of sides of a regular shape and the number of lines of symmetry that that shape will have. Okay, but lines of symmetry just draw them on, but make sure that when you're drawing them on, that the, the shape will be able to fold over and meet itself.